One local campus failed to meet state standards last school year. The school district now has a plan in place to improve its score. Our Marlene Rodriguez has all the details. Brenda, the Brownsville Independent School District was one point shy of receiving an A rating from the Texas Education Agency, but because Lincoln Park, a school for pregnant students, did not meet state standards, the district got a B. And the district hopes this plan will not just turn things around for the campus, but the whole district. This plan allows the campus to look at what they did not quite manage to uh, do to reach the performance make the commitment to the district, to their students, to TEA, that they will do these uh, activities in order to make sure their campus uh, scores improve. And the plan includes more instructional and targeted interventions, professional development, family and community engagement, and attendance incentives, including out-of-region college visits. The campus is already working on these different activities that they have put into their plan. Of course, we won't know until August of 2019 how successful the full implementation was, but as soon as they start getting results back from their different assessments, we'll be monitoring closely to make sure they're making the required progress. Only 4% of students met the English language arts reading targets, and only 9% met the mathematics targets, but the campus is determined to fix that. What I would like to say is that the campus faculty and staff have really invested themselves in making sure they take even extra effort. Not that they haven't taken effort in the past, but being very focused in their efforts to help all these students be as successful as they can on the state's accountability measures as well as in life. The Baranzo Independent School District will have a public hearing on the plan next Tuesday. Reporting in the studio, Marlene Rodriguez, KVEO, News Center 23. Marlene, thank you. The district appealed their B letter grade and will know the result of their appeal this coming December.